What is going on, my Destiny Dukes? All right. In this video, we're going to specifically discuss about a scout rifle known as the Doom of Chelsea. Doom of Chelsea. Anyway, it's a scout rifle. It's from the raid. It is amazing. I have an official nickname for it. I used to nickname all the weapon reviews that I had done. Um, I thought about a couple of them. One of them could be Boom McGee or Boomy McGee or Boomstick McGee. But at the end of it all, I think the only appropriate one is summed up by the meme right here. If you guys have ever seen Army of Darkness, you know this quote. <laughs> this is my boomstick. This thing is amazing. It's a lot of fun. I was taken in the Iron Banner in the new game mode. And the way that people are playing the game nowadays, where they hold back and they hold lanes, if they're doing it together in team shotting and you get one of them, you're going to get both. It's a lot of fun. So this is from the raid. You see it has Firefly, Dragonfly, and you could set up a spec to do a bigger radius of damage with, uh, I think, Dragonfly or Fire, one of those two, on the mod side, which is amazing, by the way. This thing procs really, really often, as you're going to see in the gameplay today. So if you guys are interested in getting this, you do have to do the raid, so get a fire team together. This was my first drop in the raid, so just getting in the front door, this was the weapon that I got. So I was super lucky, apparently, but it is Let also a craftable hunt. item. You can hopefully get enough people together to get five red borders so that you can craft this weapon in this way and get the, all their stuff that goes with it, like the, um, you know, I don't know, the better area of the break, whatever. So super, super fun. Definitely got a good use out of it. Had a lot of fun with it. It is one of those weapons that fires a little slower, you know, than like the 260, the 200, but it definitely feels like it has good impact. It was flinching people off of me a lot of the time when I was using it. That was really fun for me because as I'm dueling something like a Jade Rabbit or a high-impact pulse rifle, I had this, right, and keeping within range and wow. using the Firefly perk Return effectively the with them. If there's two of them there, for example, I was still able to flinch as well as disrupt the next guy shooting me because they're getting blown up by the boomstick. So, really cool weapon. If you guys get the chance to do the raid, be on the lookout for this roll. Firefly and Dragonfly. Now, this was my PvP experience with it. I have been using this in PvE as well with anything that has to do with clearing ads because you just create a chain reaction of explosions everywhere. I am very aware that I have not unlocked this weapon's potential. I don't know... I mean, you guys know I'm a PvP player primarily, so going into PvE content, I'm sure there's more that I could have done with it. But this is what I've got so far. I wanted to get this video out there for you guys because I know this is an amazing weapon to just keep your sight on. Make sure you get your eyes out for Firefly and Dragonfly. It's amazing, and you can increase the actual radius of your explosion. I'm sure there's something can be done with the solar subclass where you're getting something to proc as well. I'm not sure how to do that. Or maybe the void with the void explosions. I know I can do more with this. I haven't tapped into everything on it just yet. But it's a really fun weapon. It definitely messes with people. And the video clips that you've already seen is me getting two, three down. So even if, you know, they're triple landing and they take me down, I still get all three of them with that single explosion. It messes up a team dynamic. Today's game is played with people holding down lanes a lot of the time. So I've been looking for ways to disrupt that. Whether it's a Wither Horde or what grenades are working. Uh, anything that's going to cause them to have to either pay a penalty for getting into a doorway or a choke point, or if they're going to have a fight with me in a 1v1 or a 2v1, I'm going to make sure they pay for that so my teammates can clean up, right? So anytime I do any type of battling with a weapon like this, I am making them pay for use. I'm making them pay for holding down a lane, and I'm definitely causing... Uh, let's call it grief for anybody that is going to just sit there in the back and try to hold down a lane against me. So... That's really all there is to it, my dudes. If you want to watch the rest of the gameplay video, that's on you. I would appreciate it if you did. It's pretty good. You'll see me playing Eruption with a bunch of my teammates. And I'm finally at this point with the team that I'm on where I'm not the best one on the team anymore. That makes me really excited. I know that sounds a little bit silly, but that's exciting for me because I have so much to learn. And the guys that I'm playing with have a lot to teach, which is really good because I am going to get better. I'm already in the top 1%. I want to do better than that. Maybe I can hit Legend rank. Maybe I can even hit top 500 one day. I've got goals, baby. So, anyway, that's the end of the video. Uh, just want to give a shout out to my sponsor for this video, by the way, for Steve Labs. If you guys are interested in any of their products, in the description down below, you can get 30% off. Uh, use code Fitness and Gaming. Also, if you subscribe to getting a monthly uh, shipment, you'll get an additional 10% off. So 40% total. That's huge for products that are grade A top quality. These things are on another level. All right, my dudes. Appreciate you. Thank you so much for your time. Remember to keep it zen out there.
flames have gone cold. and no fear. The howls are quiet. Return to the fight. Everything is yours. Relish this time. Soon. Five minutes left. Sound tactics so far. The fires are lit. Find your prey and end them. I'm calling. Guardian, crush them. A clean victory. The end has come, and here you stand, a battle worthy of the Iron Lords.